Hey, real quick, if you want to improve your voice, you have to try my 8-minute jumpstart lesson. You will literally improve your voice immediately. It's on my site, singer.tv. You'll get it free. I promise you, you are going to be shocked if you actually try this. So I will see you there after this reaction on my site, singer.tv. vocally is I'm hearing like some imperfections that show that there's not much auto-tune on the vocal and auto-tune on, on a produced vocal is like completely expected these days and that doesn't make anybody a bad singer if they use a little bit of auto-tune like no prob at all but what's interesting is that I'm I'm hearing like a like a raw vocal almost like a vocal that I wouldn't have expected to make the cut Range. And when I talk about an alto range, that's a lower range for most females. And she's holding it down down there. We give all the high notes so much credit, but a nice... Hold on, let's hear that one more time. I had to shut myself up. I like those background vocals coming in. Listen to this. They added a ton of reverb on the back there. Very like ethereal. Very ethereal. Now she has a really nice natural rasp to her voice. I have a feeling that she would talk exactly how she raps and you know she's adding like a little melody to the rap as well which i think is great you know because whenever a rapper is going to add us a, a little bit of a melody it's just going to make the song more catchy it's just going to hook in the listener's ears but i think that she has so much untapped potential here i, I would love to hear even more melody i would love to hear a little more stylistic nuances i almost in my mind um i think that she's probably rapping exactly how she would how she would talk and i think that there's a lot more potential that she has as far as with her delivery vocally but we all have more sense that she's almost dumbing her voice down, which is totally fine. Um, because when you want to make a hit song, right? Like you almost don't want it to be too complex. If it's too complex, then it's going to be hard for like the listeners to like catch on and actually vibe with it. But I'd like just slightly a little bit more because I know that she has it. Like she's got it vocally like that. And I totally understand. Sometimes you have to dumb things down, but um, I don't know, you know, this one isn't my favorite, but who cares? That's all subjective. Like, that's also what I want to say here is that when it comes to art, like, it's beautiful no matter what. Like, even if I don't love it, or maybe I'll listen to it a couple times and that's it, who cares? 
it's all subjective, you know, they're creating art, like, you know what I mean? Like, we don't want to be judgmental about it. But if I'm just thinking about this objectively, vocally, um, I feel like they both have so much more to give. as a style, like as a, as a strategy to get people to just kind of like vibe with it, you know? Um, and that, I respect that. I respect that. Because it takes a real professional to know when to simplify things and when to go a little more complex vocally. Because again, if it's too complex vocally, it's not going to be a hit. as a strategy, you know, so people could kind of just like do one of these to it. You know what I mean? That's my take, at least that's my opinion. Let me know, what did you think? Thank you so much for watching. If you want to check out more content, it's on the channel. And if you would like to learn to sing, you can check out my website, singer.tv without the E. So S-I-N-G-R.tv. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.